Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking a $13 cigar and finding out whether it's actually worth the price or not. But I will admit, I definitely do think that this cigar right here is going to be worth the $13 price tag because, well, it's an acid cigar. I've previously tried another acid cigar before and I thought it was amazing, I ain't gonna lie. And I've also heard some really good things online about this cigar right here, the Acid Cuba Cuba. So I definitely do think that, well, this cigar is going to be 100% worth the price. You know what I'm saying, I'm saying. And I will admit, I am very, very, very excited to smoke this cigar right here because, well, honestly, I've been kind of craving a cigar over the last couple days in all honesty, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. But, what are my expectations for this experience? What are my expectations taste-wise from the cigar right here? I'm definitely expecting it to be very sweet, that is for sure. And I will admit, super sweetness is very much to my preference. So if it's super sweet, I certainly will enjoy it. And even if it's not, if it's still enjoyable, I'll still enjoy it and it'll still totally be worth the price. Really, the only way this is not going to be worth the price is if it's just super sour, super terrible, and not good at all, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying which I definitely do not expect this cigar to be. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and, well, get this cigar right here all out of the packaging. Go ahead and, well, cut the top off the cigar right here and everything like that. Go ahead and start toasting it. And then after that, it's time for me to go ahead and get this $13 cigar right here all lit up. And go ahead and let you guys know how a $13 cigar actually is and whether it's actually worth the price tag or not. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get this off right here and everything like that. Let's see if I can actually figure out how to open the packaging. There we go. I just ripped it like that and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's just go ahead and fold that out just a little bit, just like that. I'm just going to go ahead and smell the inside of the packaging just real quick. Mm, that smells pretty good. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and just have it fall right into my hand. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's just go and smell it real quick. That smells very, very, very sweet. That smells very, very, very good. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm going to go ahead and put the trash in my bag and everything like that cannot be littering but as said this is indeed the acid kuba kuba and it is a huge cigar i ain't gonna lie this is a pretty big big boy cigar that is for sure and overall i really like how it looks and everything like that the acid right here is all embossed you know what i'm saying this down here is also embossed certainly no complaints on my behalf this up here is also embossed it says kuba kuba right here looking very 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 interesting and i will admit that is also a very 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 interesting name that is for sure but certainly no complaints on my behalf i really do like the little cigar ring or whatever they're called kind of thing i don't know what these are called in all honesty but I really do like how this looks and it looks great in my personal opinion. Certainly no complaints for me, but without further ado, I've got my cigar cutter right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that doesn't fit all the way through my cigar cutter. That is what it is. I'm just going to take just that little bit off, just like that kind of thing. There we go. I think I should have gotten a pretty good cut. And if I didn't, I can always cut it more in the future and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? But either way, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I feel like that is a pretty good cut overall. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start toasting this cigar right here, the $13 cigar, the Acid Cuba Cuba. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and actually start puffing on it and let you guys know if it's actually totally worth the price or not. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start toasting it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. So I'm just going to toast it like this, I think. Just like that. Just go ahead and get it all toasted and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and just keep the cigar going just like that and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Just got to make sure it's very, very, very nicely toasted. And we can see some smoke coming off of there and everything like that. So I definitely am burning it a little bit, but that is perfectly fine. It is getting very, very, very well toasted. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And the flame is dying just a little bit. I think I might be overheating my lighter i might have to get my spare out of my backpack in just a minute because yeah that flame there's still lots of fluid in there i think i might have overheated my lighter in all honesty whoopsies oh well oh nope it's going again oh and now it just blew out let's try that again there we go let's just continue doing that and everything like that you know what i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf and overall i think it should be pretty well toasted by now so let's go ahead and well get this cigar right here, the Acid Cuba Cuba, the $13 cigar that I'm smoking in today's video, all lit up and go ahead and find out how it actually is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm right off the bat, very, very, very sweet taste. The tip of the cigar, in my personal opinion, is definitely sweetened as well because I'm getting a lot of sweet taste on my lips. Certainly no complaints for me, that is for sure. I really, really, really am enjoying that. So certainly no complaints, but right off the bat, I am most certainly 
satisfying my cigar craving. I ain't gonna lie, I really have wanted a cigar for the last couple days. Like I've wanted a big boy cigar for the last couple days. And honestly, I really never crave cigars. I'm always craving cigarettes and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe every once in a while, I'll crave a cigarello or something like that, you know what I'm saying? But I have honestly, for the last couple days, I have been craving a big boy cigar. So I am so happy to be out here with y'all today, smoking this cigar and finding out whether it's actually worth the price or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Got a little bit of tobacco in my mouth. But right off the bat, it is pretty smooth and everything like that kind of thing. Obviously, I'm not inhaling or anything like that because this is indeed a big boy cigar. I'll, inha I'll, inha I'll inhale my cigarellas, but I won't inhale my big boy cigars. That is for sure. That is a good way to get your throat messed up. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? But overall, it's very smooth. A very... I definitely have to say it's not as sweet as the previous acid cigar I tried. I previously tried the acid blondie which was overwhelmingly sweet, just super sweet. And right off the bat, this is still sweet, don't get me wrong, but it is very much a mild sweetness. Still very good though, don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is pretty good right off the bat. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? I think I might need to get the edges all lit up and everything like that, so I think I might go ahead and try to do that real quick. Overall, yeah, this is nice. And right off the bat kind of thing, it is already giving me a very nice, relaxing sort of buzz and everything like that kind of thing. Not super intense, not super chill or anything like that. Well, it is super chill, I will admit, but it's not like a bad buzz as in the fact that it's just like half a buzz kind of thing. It is a very nice, intense buzz, but it's a very nice, chill, intense buzz. Let me put it that way kind of thing. It's not a super heavy head rush or anything like that kind of thing. It is just a very, very, very nice, chill buzz. It is indeed a cigar buzz because, well, I'm smoking a cigar, you know what I'm saying? But overall, right off the bat kind of thing, having taken just a couple puffs of the cigar, was it worth $13? Yeah, probably. I think this was totally worth $13. Would I buy it again? Well, I can't really say until I've finished off more of the cigar and everything like that. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Because, well, I don't know whether I'm gonna like this cigar. Actually, I don't know whether I'm actually going to like this cigar until I'm probably at about like this point right here or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Although I will admit, this cigar is gonna be burning for a while. It is very much a big boy cigar that is for sure, and I'm saying very much a big boy cigar, so it is definitely gonna be burning for quite a long time. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? But right off the bat, it is very, very, very good, very, very, very enjoyable, so certainly no complaints on my behalf. And right off the bat, in my personal opinion at least, is it worth $13? Of course, I can't really answer this officially until I finished off a lot more of the, cigar of, of the cigarette, of the cigar and everything like that kind of thing. But right off the bat, was this worth $13? Yeah, more than likely kind of thing. It is pretty good overall. The taste right off the bat. I exhaled a little bit through my nose. That hurt uh, quite a bit. I can, I can exhale cigarette th smoke through my nose. I can exhale cigarello smoke through my nose. I can exhale vape through my nose. Cigar smoke gets me messed up. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Cigar smoke gets me really, really, really messed up. That burned so much. Oh my God, that burned, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. The taste though, right off the bat, I definitely have to say is a very nice, mild sweetness and I definitely have to say maybe there's some sort of sweet sort of tea taste in there as well kind of thing. I definitely have to say my first impressions of the cigar right here are that it's a toned down acid blondie. The acid blondie is more sweet. It tastes a lot more like tea and everything like that kind of thing, like hot tea, that is for sure. And this, on the other hand, is still sweet, but it's more of a mild sweetness, and it still tastes like hot tea and everything like that kind of thing, but it's more of a mild taste, not really an up-in-your-face sort of taste and everything like that. That's pretty much my first impression of this cigar right here. 
still very good, just definitely not as sweet. So if you don't really prefer super sweet cigars and everything like that, the honestly, the acid Cuba Cuba might be for you. If you still like sweet cigars, but you don't like super, super, super sickly sweet cigars, let me put it that way and I'm saying the same. Yeah, no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf at all. I may have lit this wrong. I will admit it's kind of sinking into the cigar. He's going, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. He really is going, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of sinking into the cigar. I'm thinking I might need to burn away some of this and everything like that kind of thing. I don't know if that's normal. I've never had a cigar do this to me before. Did I make a mistake doing that? I really have no clue in all honesty, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is supposed to happen. I don't know if it's not. Please let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I let it wrong. I really have no clue, you know what I'm saying? I'm certainly not an experienced cigar smoker that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But overall, right off the bat kind of thing, this cigar is pretty good and I really am enjoying it. <sighs> Excuse me. Had to take a little bit of a sip of water, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But I will admit, I'm just feeling a very nice, chill buzz, feeling very relaxed right now. Kinda just, my eyes are kinda just wandering and I'm just kinda looking at stuff and everything like that. I feel very buzzed right now. I, I do really honestly feel very, very, very buzzed right now. I ain't gonna lie. But it's not a normal buzz to me, like a cigarette buzz that is for sure, it's a cigar buzz. I'm just feeling very relaxed, kinda like I just wanna sit down in my chair like this and be like, Now this is this is the life to live. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I do honestly though. I kind of just want to slouch down in my chair and just chill and just puff away on my cigar. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I am feeling very very buzzed right now. I am feeling very 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 good right now. That is for sure. And it certainly does help that the taste of this cigar is absolutely absolutely fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Still getting some of that sweetness on my lips and everything like that, but definitely not as much sweetness as there was when I first. Uh, put my lips on the cigar and everything like that kind of thing. The tip of this cigar right here is definitely sweetened, that is for sure. But either way, certainly no complaints on my behalf. It is still very, very, very enjoyable. I definitely see what people mean, though. I definitely see what people mean, though. I've gotten, a, uh, I've gotten a decent amount of comments saying, hey, you can't, you can't puff a cigar too quickly kind of thing, otherwise it starts tasting burned. 100% correct, 100% correct. I'm so used to be able to smoke, to, to be able to use, I'm so used to smoking uh, cigarellos, I'm so used to smoking uh, cigarettes and everything like that kind of thing, where you can just puff, 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 and you're all good and everything like that kind of thing. Never really tastes super burned until you get like down to like the last little bit and everything like that kind of thing. This on the other hand, that last hit, I will admit, actually tasted a little bit burned, and I guess it makes sense because I took two other hits in front of it, and then I took one giant hit, and so I guess it makes sense kind of thing, and why it would taste burned, because while I just was hitting the cigar really fast and everything like that kind of thing, it's understandable why it would taste burned. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to remember not to do that in the future, I will admit, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Oof, no complaints on my behalf though. And I, I, I did just say, I'm gonna have to remember not to do that in the future. And then I'm trying to get a screenshot and I'm doing exactly that, you know what I'm saying? But hey, I gotta get a good screenshot, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get a good, I gotta get a good screenshot, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. Even then, even though I'm doing exactly what I just said, I shouldn't be doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, but overall, oh, and it's starting to burn and everything like that kind of thing. Okay, so that's, I guess that's no issue and everything like that. It's starting to burn right there. That's the only part where it's actually starting to burn. But it is indeed starting to burn, so I guess it's not too big of an issue or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? Overall, this cigar is very slow burning, that is for sure. This cigar is very slow burning. I am honestly surprised with the Acid Blondie. Don't get me wrong, it was a much thinner cigar, or granted, I do suppose is the right way of putting it. It was a much thinner cigar, it was a much shorter cigar and everything like that kind of thing. 
it burned a lot faster, that is for sure. I do suppose for that reason. This on the other hand is this on the other hand, I've got my words all jumbled up, you know what I'm saying? This on the other hand is a much thicker cigar in girth and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? And it's a much longer cigar as well. So it definitely does make sense why it would burn quite a bit slower. And we can see though, that is just burning all like that, you know what I'm saying? Very, very, very satisfying to watch. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But without further ado, I'm gonna go and try to get some more screenshots, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Oof. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think I got myself some pretty good screenshots there. I certainly hope that I did. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I got I hopefully I can get me a good thumbnail out of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf. But right off the bat, yeah, the taste is pretty much still exactly what I described at the beginning of this video. It's pretty much a, a very nice, sweet taste. And there's a little bit of a, sort of a, a hot tea taste in there as well kind of thing. And I definitely have to say it is sweet, don't get me wrong, probably a lot sweeter than a lot of other cigars out there, but it is definitely a lot more mild. It is definitely a lot more of a mild sweetness compared to the acid blondie, that is for sure, which I will admit, right off the bat kind of thing. I definitely do think is my preference compared to this cigar. This is by no means a bad cigar. It's still a very enjoyable cigar, but I definitely do think just because of the overwhelming sweetness and everything like that, and probably the shorter smoking time as well, as I do like long smokes, that is for sure. I think this might be a bit too long for my personal preference, but the Acid Blondie might be my pick at the moment, but this is still by no means a bad cigar. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. Oof, that is nice, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm just still feeling so relaxed, so chill right now. Honestly, I don't really have too much else to say, so I'm just chilling with y'all for the moment, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying, but I really am just feeling very chill, very relaxed right now, and I really just am enjoying this cigar as a whole, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Y'all know me, had to get some more screenshots and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Couldn't just stop right there, you know what I'm saying? Couldn't just stop right there. Had to get some more screenshots. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But right off the bat, I am feeling super chill, super buzzed, feeling super good. This is definitely not burning super evenly, like it's all the way at the top right here, and then all the way like down over here on this side kind of thing. Like, I'd have to say we're probably about, if we're just measuring it to about this label right here and everything like that kind of thing, we're probably about what is that, one-fifth of the way in and everything like that kind of thing, I definitely have to say, although the ash probably, ooh, that's pretty hot, probably goes all the way down to about here if I had to guess. So we're probably about almost at the halfway point if I had to guess based off of where I think probably the actual, not the ash itself, but where the embers are and everything like that, because the embers, of course, sit deep, deeper in the cigar and the cigarette and the cigarella, whatever you're smoking kind of thing, than what meets the eye, that is for sure, and I'm saying the same. But yeah, overall, no complaints on my behalf. Haven't ashed it yet. Don't really plan on ashing it. I will admit, I'm not really supposed to ash cigars, from what I know at least. So I don't think I'm gonna be ashing this cigar in today's video, or when it does ash, it's gonna be ashing of its own volition that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Oh, tried to put the cap back on with one, with one hand, but cannot do that. I can take it off with one hand, cannot put it back on with one hand, you know what I'm saying? I can do it when I'm driving, but not when I'm holding a cigar, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, overall, this cigar is pretty good. I'm kind of feeling like, is it worth $13? Is it really worth the price tag that, is it really worth a $13 price tag? Is this $13 cigar right here, the Acid Cuba Cuba, really worth the $13 price tag? In my personal opinion, yes, it 100% is. However, one thing I do want to acknowledge is that I personally don't think I would buy this cigar again. Is it worth the price tag? Is it good? Yes, 100%. It is a good cigar. I have no regrets about buying this cigar. 
but I wouldn't buy it again, just simply because it's not to my personal preference. I like something, this is sweet, don't get me wrong, and if it was a shorter smoke, I think I'd like it a lot more, but it is a very long smoking cigar, as you guys can tell, it's a very big cigar, and it's just not as sweet as I really like kind of thing. The Acid Blondie had a little bit more of an intense taste, I definitely have to say. And overall, the Acid Blondie was more to my preference, not only in price point, because that was like, what, a $7 cigar, whereas this is a $13 cigar. Definitely more to my preference in price point, taste, and length of smoke kind of thing. Just overall, more to my preference, but this is by no means a bad cigar and is definitely still worth, in my personal opinion, the $13 price tag. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think that's pretty much my final decision on if I like the cigar or not. I do like the cigar, I just probably wouldn't buy it again in all honesty. But I do totally see why a lot of people would buy the cigar. It is a mild sweetness kind of thing with a mild amount of sort of like a hot tea sort of taste in there and everything like that kind of thing. Good amount of tobacco taste, of course, and it's a long smoke kind of thing. If you just want to chill on your porch, like for a good amount of the night and everything like that kind of thing, just smoking away, listen to a podcast, listen to music, call on a call with a friend or something like that kind of thing, or just hanging out with friends and everything like that kind of thing, this cigar really is a good choice. The Acid Blondie, on the other hand, it's like a 20, 30 minute cigar and everything like that kind of thing. This, on the other hand, I definitely have to say is more than likely more like a hour long cigar if I had to guess. I don't think I'm gonna be finishing it in today's video. Otherwise, it would be an hour long video. And honestly, I really do not have enough to say about this cigar to make this video be an hour, but it is still a very enjoyable cigar nonetheless. It's just very, very, very long smoking, unlike the Acid Blondie, which is more like a 20, 30 minute cigar, um, which is definitely more to my preference. I would definitely have to say, you know what I'm saying? Oof. Ow. Oof. My nose is not used to blowing out cigar smoke and everything like that. I'm gonna try that again. Oh. I don't even think anything anything came out of my nose, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh man. That hurt. <laughs> Oh man, that hurt y'all. I ain't gonna lie, that burned. That burned so much. I can do that so easily with cigarette smoke. I can do that so easily with vapes. What is going on? Why does this cigar smoke so much more potent? I guess it makes sense. You're not really supposed to inhale cigar smoke either. It's super rough in on, on your on your throat and everything like that. So of course it's gonna be super rough on your nose and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But man, oh man, that hurt a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? That really did hurt a little bit, that is for sure. And you know what? I'm gonna go and piss everybody off. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ash my cigar. I'm gonna make sure, move my lighter out of the way, make sure the ash doesn't fall on anything. Ah, <laughs> I ashed my cigar. I had, I had to do it. I had to do it just to anger everybody in the comments down below. I, I had to do it, you know what I'm saying? I had to do it. Also, I, I just figured it was probably gonna be falling off soon, and I figured it's probably going to be falling on me if it, if it, if it falls off soon, so. I decided it's better for me to go ahead and ash it right now than to have it fall on my leg or something like that and possibly burn me, although I doubt it would do that, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. but overall, we can see some of the orange again and everything like that, you know what I'm saying, and yeah, this is overall not a bad cigar, you know what I'm saying, not a bad cigar at all, enjoying it quite a bit. Enjoying my buzz right now. Just feeling a very nice, relaxed, just nicotine buzz. It's very nice overall. To describe the taste again, I definitely have to say this cigar right here is very much a very sweet tobacco-like taste with a mix of hot tea in there as well. But overall, it's very, very, very mellow and is very enjoyable um, because of that reason and everything like that kind of thing. Even though I'm not really a big fan of super mellow cigars, I definitely do think, or have super mellow sweet taste and everything like that. I'd much rather have an up in your face sweet taste. I definitely do think for the length of the cigar, uh, both both literally the length of the cigar and the time it takes to smoke the cigar and everything like that, I definitely do think the mellow, uh, the mellow sweet taste is definitely the better choice because honestly, I don't know this for sure, but I could totally see myself getting sick of a super up in your face sweet taste if I was smoking this cigar for like 40, 50 minutes to an hour and everything like that kind of thing. I could totally see myself getting sick of it. And while the sweet taste, 
I kind of would prefer something a little bit more bold and everything like that. I'm not really super sick of the mellow sweet taste and everything like that kind of thing. It's very nice. It's just very chill and everything like that kind of thing. And it certainly does match my buzz quite a bit because I am certainly enjoying a very, very, very nice chill buzz right now. That is just very relaxing. It makes me just want to sit back in my chair and just look at nature and just enjoy everything. You know what I'm saying? Same. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. One thing I definitely do need to figure out is how to take bigger hits of my cigar. I don't know how to take bigger hits of my cigar. All of my hits of my cigar kind of thing are tiny. I know how to take big hits of, cigar of cigarettes and everything like that kind of thing. I don't know how to take big hits of a cigar. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to take a big hit real quick, hopefully without accidentally inhaling because I do not wanna accidentally inhale. That does not sound like a fun time. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna try to take as big of a hit as I can real quick. That was still pretty small. There we go. That was much better, I ain't gonna lie. That was much better. A little bit of roughness in the back of my throat. Definitely makes me wanna take a sip of water, I ain't gonna lie, but nonetheless, still pretty good. Oof, man, that was a little bit rough, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That really was a little bit rough. But overall, still very enjoyable, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. And I definitely do think feeling it right off the bat. I think the ash, or not the ash, the embers are right about there if I had to guess. If I had to guess, it's probably right about there because there's like a little ridge right there and everything like that. And I've been noticing that a ridge goes down all the way and everything like that kind of thing. It goes down like all the way. Like there wasn't a ridge here beforehand, but now there is indeed a ridge, which makes me think that this is where that this is where the embers are and everything like that. That's what it makes me think at least. It makes sense in my head, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But Overall, hmm. so worth the price, 100%, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. It's feeling very chill, very relaxed. Definitely, as said, I had a craving for a big boy cigar for, I've, I've had a craving, a craving for a big boy cigar for the, for like, I wanna say the last couple days. And this is most certainly satisfying that craving. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I smoked uh, one of my Backwoods uh, small batch 002s yesterday and it satisfied my craving for about a solid five hours. And then I was like, you know what? I want a big boy cigar. And uh, I will admit this is most certainly satisfying my craving. Certainly no complaints on my behalf that is for sure. And I'm saying, I'm saying. Glad to be enjoying my afternoon with this big ass cigar, that is for sure. But, ooh, my watch got some stuff on it. I don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? My watch got some stuff on it. Gonna have to clean my watch later, that is for sure. Oh, damn. A model, it looks like I wasn't, I'm not sure what it is. It wasn't a Model T, I think it was a Model A that just drove by and it was sweet. It was rotted out and everything like that kind of thing. No chop top, no lead slat or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But, but it was sweet. Custom paint job, it was, it was dark burgundy and everything like that. Still had what looked like very much, very thin wheels on it and everything like that. But obviously just a very clean resto mod, resto mod and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? A very, very, very nice Model A. I want to say, I'm not super good at figuring out what cars are from that era and everything like that. Of course, I know what a Model T looks like, but a Model A, I honestly really have no clue, but I'm pretty sure it was a Model A. I'm not really good at determining what cars are past the 1970s, I ain't gonna lie. But, but either way, it was a sick ass ride, I ain't gonna lie. It was very, very, it was very, very nice. Oof. Yeah, just very nice, very chill. And it definitely is not burning the most evenly at the moment, but I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm just gonna let it fix itself in all honesty. You know what I'm saying, I'm saying? It'll fix itself in a little bit, that is for sure, as long as I keep taking more hits and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep taking more hits, you know what I'm saying? Well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it's not fixing itself after taking more hits and everything like that. I certainly was hoping it would, but maybe it's not, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Either way, certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Overall though, 
Yeah, I'm enjoying this quite a bit, as I'm sure you guys can tell, you know what I'm saying? Forgot about, I wanna say, the halfway point in the cigar, the ridge has moved down here as well. Do I wanna try to smoke this whole cigar in this video? Honestly, kinda. I did not start this video planning on smoking this entire cigar, I will admit. I did not I did not start this video planning on smoking this entire cigar. But honestly, well, I know it's not technically gonna be this entire cigar, but I kinda wanna smoke it to like this point right here and everything like that, and then I'll just stub it out after that. Because honestly, I'll probably, I'll probably be all set after that. But honestly, I kinda wanna smoke it to that point. It might take another 30 minutes, I ain't gonna lie, but low key, low key, I kinda wanna do it. Might have to give it a go. Might have to see if I can smoke the entire cigar in this video. And I don't know, any cigar connoisseurs out there, let me know. Do you guys typically stop where this starts right here? Or do you guys move? Oh, it wasn't moving. It was moving a lot easier on the Acid Blondie. Or do you guys move? Oh, here we go. Or do you guys move these up and down or everything like that kind of thing? Or do you guys move these down to smoke more of the cigar? Let me know in the comments down below because I have no clue where I'm start I'm where I am supposed to stop smoking the cigar and everything like that kind of thing. I'm sure people smoke them all the way up until this point right here, but honestly, that does not sound enjoyable at all. That is for sure. You know, I'm saying the same. I definitely have to say. As we're getting deeper into the cigar though, it's definitely becoming more, it, it, it's the taste is changing just a little bit. And I'm sure it's just because there's a lot of tar sitting in all the tobacco and everything like that kind of thing. And it's just not the same taste it was at the beginning because well, I've been smoking and everything like that. It's definitely starting to taste a little bit more burned, which might be because I keep taking hit after hit after hit after hit after hit and after hit and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? It could be because of that, but it's still got that mellow sweet taste in there kind of thing, still got that tea-like taste, but I definitely have to say, as we're getting towards the middle of the cigar right here, it's definitely getting bolder. Not a bolder taste, but the smoke itself is getting bolder. And because the smoke itself is getting bolder, it tastes a little bit more sour as well, which is definitely not to my preference, but I'd have to say kind of thing, that's, that's probably my fault. It's probably not the cigar's fault. It's probably my fault in all honesty, you know what I'm saying? saying. Oof. Yeah, definitely very enjoyable though. Yeah, definitely though, cigars that are this size, I don't really think are exactly to my preference, that is for sure. And honestly, this is bothering me right here. I'm gonna try to, I'm just gonna try to fix that real quick. That's bothering me. Come on, fix yourself, fix yourself. There we go. All right, hopefully that'll help a little bit. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. But I think I can definitively say after this video, having found a big, big, big cigar that I actually enjoy quite a bit. I definitely have to say big cigars like this, just not to my preference kind of thing. They're just not to my preference. They take too long to smoke kind of thing. They're very nice, very chill. And my preference might change in the future, but at the moment, my preference is definitely very much super sweet, sort of very, um, very bold, sweet tasting, not fast smoking cigars per se. If I wanted a fast smoking cigar, I'd smoke a cigarello and everything like that. But definitely like, 30 to mid 30 minute range for a cigar and everything like that kind of thing. Whereas this is definitely an hour, hour 15 minute cigar and everything like that in my perspective, depending on how quickly you're puffing away and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But overall, yeah, I think I can definitively say this cigar right here is not exactly to my preference, but it is definitely more to my preference than not. And as said earlier on in the video, it is definitely worth $13 in my personal opinion. And I definitely do think if you don't really like cigars that are super, super, super sweet, but you do like a tinge of sweetness in your cigar and everything like that kind of thing, I definitely do think the Acid Cuba Cuba may be the cigar for you. That is for sure, and I'm saying, I'm saying, and honestly, $13 for a cigar, not a bad price point at all. But definitely for me, the Acid Blondie is just more to my preference just because it's a lower price point, a little bit quicker to smoke, and more, much more bold, sweetness, uh, a lot more of a bold sweet taste, a lot more of a bold sort of tea taste and everything like that, whereas this is more mellow. But yeah, it's still not a bad cigar at all and definitely still worth $13, but I personally would not buy it again in my personal opinion, but very enjoyable. Uh, but it is certainly still very enjoyable. That is for sure. Don't want to say it's not enjoyable because it certainly is. And as said, it certainly is helped by the fact that the Acid Blondie is also $7. I'm like this, 
I could buy, ooh, depending on the pack of cigarettes I wanted to buy, one, depending on the pack of cigarettes I wanted to buy, I could buy, I could buy in my state up to three packs of cigarettes for the same price as this cigar cost. So yeah, I think I definitely prefer to buy an acid blondie. I really like my cigarettes as well. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And I, I will admit, this was a this was the most expensive cigar I have ever bought. Literally, this is the most expensive cigar I've ever bought. I've bought previously a two dollar cigar, a five dollar cigar, a seven dollar cigar, and a ten dollar cigar. And this is the most expensive cigar. I have ever bought, which I totally should have used as part of my intro, but I completely, I completely didn't even think of that. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, you know, I'm saying the same. But this is the most expensive cigar I've ever bought, and definitely expensive cigars. I have decided after smoking this one, ain't for me. I'd much rather buy under ten dollars, under ten dollars. And I know, thirteen dollars. This is not even like expensive for cigars and everything like that kind of thing this is probably considered cheap by a lot of by a lot of y'all that really 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 enjoy uh, smoking cigars and everything like that this is probably considered a cheap cigar i ain't gonna lie twelve dollars though for me that's a it's a pretty good amount of money i ain't gonna lie i could go for i could go to chick-fil-a get myself a whole meal get myself a sweet tea uh and upsize my fries up my side upsize my sweet teas for tw upsize my sweet teas upsize my sweet tea all for twelve dollars and everything like that i could have lunch for twelve dollars I could go to the grocery store and get a bunch of packs of Uncle Ben's. I could get like three packs of cigarettes. Yeah, I'd much rather get three packs of cigarettes, I ain't gonna lie. Depending on what the packs of cigarettes are. If they're Mavericks, no, no, I, I, ain't, getting, but I ain't getting three packs of Mavericks. But overall, still definitely worth the price for this experience, that is for sure, but definitely not something I'd wanna spend the money on to enjoy again, that is for sure. I would much rather buy a $7 Acid Blondie, which is still like the same price as a pack of American spirits in my area, but still, I certainly don't mind paying that much. But this is just about the double the price, almost double the price, because this cigar was actually twelve seventy five, not thirteen dollars. But I, I ran, or I think it was actually a different price. It was. It actually doesn't say on here. I'm pretty sure it's twelve forty five actually. So. I guess I could have rounded down so it so it was a, a twelve dollar cigar, but thirteen dollars is a better number, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But but either way, certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is that I I feel, I, I have no interest in paying thirteen dollars for a single cigar ever again you know what i'm saying i think i'm gonna be sticking to my uh to my to my good old seven dollar cigars that is for sure definitely gonna be trying a lot more of those i think that's definitely right about where i like the price point and everything like that kind of thing i really i don't i don't mind spe spending seven bucks because it's about the same amount as a pack of cigarettes don't get me wrong a pack of cigarettes will last me longer than a cigar that is for sure but seven dollars for a night where i can just go out and just chill enjoy smoking my cigar while ch while chatting with friends or listening to music or listening to an audiobook or watching tv on my phone or something like that kind of thing it's really not all that much to spend and everything like that it's definitely oh i went out drinking with friends and i don't really go out drinking much kind of thing i've gone out drinking like maybe three times and i'm like i'm 21 i don't i don't go out and drink very much i went out, i wasn't even drinking heavy or nothing like that because i was driving that night i had, think i had two drinks and a shot and I had one drink and it was six dollars and I was like okay it's six dollars that's kind of expensive or six dollars and fifty cents my shot was like four dollars which is actually pretty cheap for a shot and then I didn't even I didn't even drink the shot kind of thing I had I had like half the shot and then I did not even drink the rest it was a waste of my money but whatever and then the third drink I had I got myself a bottle of Angry Orchard the other drink I had was from what was from the tap and everything like that kind of thing i don't mind paying for them from the tap it's good from the tap i love i love drinking stuff from the tap and everything like that you know what i'm saying but i went somewhere and i was like you know what i went to a bar and i was like you know what i really want an angry orchard right now and i looked behind the counter and i was like oh they got angry orchard let me get one of those bottles seven dollars and fifty cents for a bottle of angry orchard i could buy an entire acid blondie cigar for that much I can go to the ABC store. I can go. I can go to Target and get myself a six pack of Angry Orchard for eleven dollars, ten dollars sometimes if they're on sale. Ridiculous, ridiculous. 
I would much rather buy an acid blondie. That is for sure. And I'm sitting here saying I don't, I don't even, remember, I don't even remember how I got on that topic. In all honesty, but I think what I was trying to say is that seven dollars is a lot of money. But I don't spend, I don't mind spending that much on a cigar. But I do mind spending that much on, uh, on, uh, on beer. That is for sure. And I'm sitting here saying it's just too damn much. Drinking is too damn expensive. You know what I'm sitting here saying. But, but, certainly no complaints on my behalf either way, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is pretty good as a whole. Very, very, very enjoyable. And definitely, since I kind of just let it sit for a minute kind of thing, I got that, that sweetness and everything like that kind of thing got revived a little bit. That is for sure. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's see where the ash is now. I think it's actually right about where it's supposed to be and everything like that. And the sun is hitting me just a little bit. If I go like this, it goes in my eye and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna go ahead and just go at this with my lighter. I don't know why it's burning so unevenly. Let me know if you guys know. Did I light it wrong at the beginning or anything like that kind of thing? Just let me know in the comments down below if I lit this wrong or anything like that kind of thing. I really have no clue why this is burning so unevenly, but I, I, if I had to guess, it's probably my fault. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. That was a pretty big hit. That was a pretty big hit. Very, very, very enjoyable. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go and take a sip of water real quick as well. Go and just take it off, take, take, take the cap off with one hand. Put it back down, put the cap back on. Ooh, all with one hand. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Doing, doing, doing goodness, that is doing goodness. What can I say, what can I say? I can put the cap back on the water bottle with one hand, I don't know. Big flex, you know what I'm saying, big flex. I'm running out of things to talk about. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. My apologies. What am I saying? I'm running out of things to talk about. I'm just smoking a cigar, chilling with y'all right now kind of thing. I can talk about anything I want. You know what I'm saying? I can talk about anything I want. What do I want to talk about? There's electrical lines over there. As you guys can tell, I am I am feeling a very I am feeling pretty buzz right now. I ain't gonna lie, I'm still feeling very buzz. Still that very nice, super chill, super relaxing buzz, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Went to the parts yard today though. It was pretty gas, I ain't gonna lie. Went there looking at an old uh, 1980s, I think it was a 1983 uh, Mercedes Benz uh, 300 uh, D turbo diesel uh, is, uh, yeah, W123 uh, turbo diesel a sedan. Really nice, really like it and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? I wanna say it was an 83 which I've said like three times I want to say. But sadly, got there. I'd been there for like, I want to say three days. Tire car was stripped. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's in, it's entirely stripped. And I was just like, okay, whatever. No point, no point in even looking at this car and everything like that kind of thing. And uh, went in, the, the only other car that I was really interested in, I did find one other car that I thought was really, really, really cool. But the only other car that I came, that I, that I went to the parts yard looking for was an old C10. Uh, I wanted to see if there were any interior parts I could find for my square body. Uh, the C10 had been there since like June, I want to say, a long time. I get there and I, I just completely, I walk all the way down the road. I'm like, where is it? And then I'm like looking at the photo of it in the road. I'm like, okay, it should be right here kind of thing. I'm like, oh, let's take a look at the bumper. Okay, same bumper. The, <laughs> the entire cab was gone. The bed was gone. Everything, it was completely stripped. I was like, makes sense. It's been here since June, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, oh man, that is crazy. And I'm just gonna go and ash my cigar. Man, that was some flaky ash. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Just go and ash it because I know if I just didn't ash it, it was just gonna fall right on me and that would not be good. That is for sure, and I'm saying the same. But, Besides the 83-300D turbo diesel, and I want to say it was an 86 C10. Now, honestly, the photos, it looked like it drove to the junkyard. I was kind of like, what? The, what is this doing in the junkyard? This is actually a really nice kind of thing. The other car that I actually saw and had a lot of interest in kind of thing was a Dodge Colt, a Mitsubishi space wagon. And the last time I went to the parts yard before today, I saw a Dodge Raider. I've, n I've never seen either of one of those driving on the road and everything like that kind of thing. They are not common in my area. But I was like, what the hell is, I was like, man, I low key want this thing. It's, it's a Dodge Colt, it's a Mitsubishi Space Wagon. 
I was like, low key, this thing is, this would be so fire to like do mini truck stuff with and everything like that kind of thing. Put it on hydros, like I have the money for hydros right now, but like put it on hydros, get some like 22s on it or something like that kind of thing. Have it bouncing. Man, that shit would be sick, but, but yeah, it's a, it's in the junkyard. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not hauling it out of the junkyard. Plus there are already parts missing, but it was, it was pretty mint overall kind of thing. 83,000 miles. 83,000 miles. I'm like, come what? 83,000 miles in the junkyard. 1991. So a year a year younger than my square buddy Spurban. I'm just kind of like, bro, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Such a shaming I'm saying. Such a shame. bit of roughness in my throat i will admit that is for sure i am feeling extremely buzzed right now as i'm sure you guys can tell i am definitely not feeling as energetic as i usually do that is for sure and i'm saying i'm saying but overall certainly no complaints on my behalf this cigar though is pretty good and honestly i'm finishing it off a bit faster than i'm thinking it was going to be finished off and everything like that and i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf you know i'm saying i'm saying but Overall, what else do I have to talk about? Went to the parts here today, it was pretty good. Went by Chick-fil-A, the line was insanely long. I ain't gonna lie, I was like, oh my God. It's a crazy, ridiculous long, but hey, went inside instead of to, to avoid the drive through line. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Very, very, very quick line inside that's for sure, because I guess, <clears throat> excuse me, nobody wants to go inside. But uh, what else did I do today? Nothing else really. Kind of just, yeah, and this is, this is my stamp from the parts yard and everything like that, kind of just, Went to Chick-fil-A, went to the parts yard to look for parts, didn't find nothing. And uh, now, I'm, now, now, now I'm talking to y'all recording and everything like that. And I'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. It's been a good day, been a chill day, been a very enjoyable day, that is for sure. And I'm saying the same. And this is still doing me dirty. Why is it burning so unevenly? I don't understand. I gotta fix this canoe. It is annoying the hell out of me. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And I can just see the paper. It is bubbling. It is not happy right now, y'all. I do not care, though. That canoe is irritating me. Overall, though, I definitely do feel like I've gotten better at smoking cigars from smoking the cigar, just simply put, for so long and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I definitely do feel like I've made a decent amount of progress on smoking cigars, and I do also feel like I've probably pissed off a decent amount of cigar connoisseurs by, well, ashing my cigar on video and everything like that, and I'm saying, I'm saying, that is for sure. But overall, still getting a very nice, mellow, sweet taste. A little bit of sort of a hot tea taste as well, but as said, the, just like the sweetness, still very mellow. And overall, it's, it's pretty good. It's very enjoyable. Definitely a very enjoyable cigar. Definitely a cigar I am enjoying quite a bit. But as said, not something I'd buy again. And uh, was it worth $13? Yeah, in my personal opinion, 100% worth $13. Totally worth $13. Absolutely worth $13, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And definitely something that if I wanted an hour long cigar to smoke and everything like that kind of thing, I would smoke this again. But it's just one of those things where I'd much rather have something sweeter, so I'd much rather smoke the acid blondie. And it certainly does help that it's also cheaper as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go and ash it. Again, I'm actually going to take my lighter, take all of that dang ash off, because it is annoying me. Just tap my lighter out on the ground and everything like that, and I'm saying, there we go. Canoe is somewhat fixed, not quite, that is for sure, though. But, oh, bug coming at me? No, no bug coming at me, thankfully. But... Yeah, very enjoyable, very chill. Literally just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Literally just chilling. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? The same. But I don't really have too much else to say. And honestly, I'm kind of feeling like I don't really want too, too much cigar uh, anymore. Or like, I'm kind of feeling like I don't really want too, too much more cigar. That is for sure. So, ah, some ash got on my pants, bruh, bruh. 
it'll it'll wipe off i cannot believe this so i think i'm probably going to take a couple more hits and everything like that go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this experience and then after that i'm going to go ahead and end the video right there what are we at right now we're at 40 49 minutes oh my god <laughs> i haven't been smoking this cigar for a while that is for sure and i'm saying been talking for a little bit that is for sure and i'm saying but certainly no complaints on my behalf overall but yeah very enjoyable not something i'd buy again i said but definitely a very nice mild sweet cigar that burns for a long time so if you like a sort of mild sweetness and you like your stuff to burn for a long time i definitely do think that the acid kuba kuba might be to your preference you know what i'm saying without further ado though i'm gonna go and take a couple more hits Oof. but yeah Definitely thinking I'm just gonna be chilling probably for the next couple minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and stub it out and everything like that. I've pretty much, I've pretty much said my final thoughts multiple times and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, I'm probably gonna say it one more time before the end of the video. And then after that, I'm probably gonna end the video right there, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. But overall, yeah, I mean like, it's not a bad cigar at all, you know what I'm saying? Certainly hope you guys are in just enjoying chilling and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? I know I certainly am enjoying just vibing, just chilling, just enjoying the day and everything like that. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But, man oh man, I will admit, I think I've had my fill of minutes. I, I, I hate saying this, I hate saying this. It is kind of weird for me to say. I think I may have had my fill of nicotine for the moment. I do know though, after this video, I'm probably gonna go eat. And then after I eat, of course, I'm gonna want a cigarette to settle my stomach. So I'm gonna have my fill of nicotine for like a solid hour, I will admit. But right off the bat kind of thing, I'm feeling very nice, very chill, very relaxed, very, very, very buzzed, but it's definitely not a super intense cigarette buzz, but it is a very intense cigar-like buzz and everything like that. And overall, I'm just feeling fantastic right now. The nice, sweet, mellow taste is great. It's just sitting in my mouth and everything like that kind of thing. And overall, yeah. The Aston Kuba Kuba is overall 100% worth $13. Wouldn't buy it again, per se, but do I regret buying it and trying it during this video and everything like that? No, certainly not. And I certainly have bought cigars before, before videos and everything like that where I try it. The $10 cigar I previously bought was $10 and I so regretted buying that. I was like, this sucks. I hate this cigar and everything like that kind of thing. I by no means hate this cigar. That is for sure. Definitely not exactly my to, uh, definitely not exacting to my preference, but still not bad. That is for sure. And I'm saying same. And either way, don't want to be wasting a thirteen dollars cigar. Without further ado, though, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take one, two, or three more hits. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm saying I'm saying. I tried. I hurt. That that hurt so bad. Oh, woo. Oh man, I feel like that just cleared my sinuses. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Wow, that was killing me. That was killing me. And I will admit, maybe it was just because I was taking hit after hit after hit and after hit and after hit and everything like that kind of thing. But I will admit, it is definitely tasting a bit more rough as we get towards the uh, lower portion of the cigar and everything like that kind of thing. And overall, I'm glad I am ending this video where I am and everything like that. And I'm saying, so certainly no complaints on my behalf. Without further ado, though, I'm gonna go and just take one more hit. And then after that, I said I had my filament nicotine, but I'm, I'm saying I'm taking one more hit and everything like that. After just taking like three hits, I'm gonna go and just take one more hit of this cigar right here and go ahead and end off the video right there. And I'm saying, same. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on the ground right there. Not gonna stub it out quite yet because for all I know, after this video, maybe I want one or two more hits and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But thank you very much for watching my video where I try a $13 cigar, the Acid Cuba Cuba, for the first time and let you guys know whether I actually think it's worth the $13 price tag or not. 
Was it worth the $13 price tag? Absolutely, 100%, totally worth the price tag that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? As said throughout the video quite a bit, very nice sort of mild sweet taste with a little bit of sort of a hot tea taste in there as well kind of thing. And it's a very long smoke and a decently expensive smoke for somebody at like, like me at least, that is for sure. Would I buy it again? More than likely not, just because it wasn't really exact to my preference. Not only do I really not prefer super long smoking cigars, but I also am just not really a big fan of the super mild sweetness and everything like that kind of thing, especially when I'm gonna be puffing on something for such a long period of time. I definitely do think, and I think I said something that is contradictory, contradictory to, to this, uh, in about the middle of the video where I said it's honestly kind of nice having sort of a mild taste because I feel like I'd get sick of it if I was smoking for so long. I actually don't really have that opinion anymore. I think I would actually enjoy it a lot more if it was sort of a super sweet taste all the way through and everything like that kind of thing that is for sure. But overall, I have no regrets about buying the $13 cigar, the Acid Cuba Cuba, that is for sure. I just wouldn't buy it again as it's not exactly to my preference, but still something I'm very, very, very glad that I tried, you know what I'm saying? I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this now 55 minute video. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. And if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Let me know any recommendations that you guys have for cigars in the comments down below, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed watching the video where I smoke a $13 cigar and let y'all know whether it was actually worth $13 or not. And yeah, as said, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. But yeah, until the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.